Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm a studio associate professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a cloudy fall day here in Chicago. It's kind of nice. All the leaves have changed colors and they're falling. So it's actually a pretty nice day. Today we're going to look at using Revit to make a revolve. And here you see I have a chair, what I'm calling a chair that's revolved in a circle. And if we look at it in plan, it's revolved 180 degrees and I could I could select that model and I could change how much it revolves so if I only want it to revolve say 90 degrees I could do that oops not 990 but 90 degrees I could do that um, so you see we have some control over that I can revolve at 360 degrees or I can put it back at the 180 degrees all right, before we jump into the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and search me up and click on the red, big red block subscribe button and click on the bell to receive all the notifications. There's something here for everyone. I've just started this Revit series that I'm calling Back to Basics. And I have some Photoshop. I have tons of rhino and grasshopper videos so there's something here for everyone so if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so looking to get to 7,000 subscribers pretty soon also if you haven't connected with me on Instagram go ahead and do that at my first name Alfonso underscore my last name Peluso look forward to connecting to you there see what kind of work my students have been up to and what they've been submitting um, so that would be great to connect with you there. All right, let's get into the tutorial. All right, I'm going to close these two windows here. All right, so we're going to start by going to projects and opening a new architectural template. And we're going to turn on our project base point, which is bas basically our origin. We're going to do that by typing in VG. And I'm going to scroll down under Site. And I'm going to expand Site by clicking on the little plus. And I'm going to click on Project Base Point. Click on that check mark. Click OK. All right, so I'm going to work at, you know, smaller scale. So I'm going to make uh, a revolve around 2 feet by 4 feet just to take a look at how it actually works. So this is a model in place when you're making a revolve. So if we go to architecture and we go to component, we can choose model in place. And I'm going to categorize this under generic models. And I'll call this revolve 01. Okay, so you hear, here are my choices for making um, model in places. I have a video on extrusion. I have a video on blend. Uh, and this is a video on Revolve and I'll put a link to Extrusion and Blend at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm going to click on Revolve and I'm going to choose the boundary line. So this is an outline of what is going to revolve. So in this case I'm just going to make uh, a 2 foot by 4 foot rectangle. I'm going to move this so that it is at the base point. Okay, so that's what I'm going to revolve. And then I need an axis line to revolve about. So I'm just going to draw that axis line out here. And I'm going to click on the green check mark, and it's going to revolve itself around that axis line. Now, if I was to go in and choose Edit Revolve, I can move this closer or further away from the object. So if I move it further, it's going to be a bigger 
revolve. Let's take a look at that in 3D. So it's just a just a disk is all that it makes, which is kind of cool. It's a one way to make a disk. Okay, let me click on that once more and go to edit revolve and then you can see the two shapes that I've drawn. So this rectangle in purple just revolves itself around that line. And I wish I could see this in real time, but I can't. So that makes it a little bit smaller. Okay, so let's draw another one. This time we're going to draw it in elevation. That was in a top view. Now we can we can draw our revolve in a front view. Same revolve. I'm going to make the same exact revolve. So I'll go to create. Actually, I'm going to finish this model and make a new model. So I'll go to my down arrow component, model in place, and generic model. Call this one revolve. Revolve O2. Okay, go to revolve. I'm gonna make so I wanna already I'm getting the the circle with the no line through it because it knows that it can only draw on a work plane and right now it doesn't have a work plane that's perpendicular to this view, but I can pick the front of this revolve that I already made. So I can go to set and I can go to pick a plane and I'm gonna pick that front. Now I can now it's allowing me to draw. So I'll go ahead and draw my same thing that I did before. Draw this two feet by four feet. I'll pick an axis line to revolve about. Let me move this move these over a bit. Alright. Now if we look at this in 3D, we have these two disks. Alright, fantastic. Now let's go ahead and draw a, let me finish this model. I'm going to go ahead and draw that, that seat, that, that bench that you had saw in the beginning. So I'm going to go to go to a front view here. Okay, 3D here. And I'm going to draw, so I'm going to go to Architecture, Component, Model in Place, choose the generic model, choose, this is going to be my Revolve 03, okay, choose Revolve, I'm going to draw my, my bench, okay, so it's giving me the, the the circle with a line through it, so I'll set my work plane again by pick a plane, pick the front of that. <coughs> All right, now I'm going to go ahead and draw this, draw this bench. Just kind of sketching it in. Alright, so there's that. It's a little chunky. <laughs> Alright, and I'll draw my axis line. Move both of these over a little bit. Alright, click the check mark. Okay, so I believe that's a 360 degree. So it doesn't look too much different than the, than the disc at this point. But if I select it and I make it 180 degrees. Okay, so then that's there, that's half of it. All right, let's look at subtracting. So if I was to finish this model uh, and I wanted to subtract from it, uh, which whichever one I wanted to subtract from, I'm thinking which which one do I? I'll, I'll try subtracting from the chair and see what we get there. So I select it and I click on edit in place and I go over to create and I'm going to make another blend. 
not a blend, I'm sorry, another revolve. And I'm going to do this in a top view. Okay, so I'm going to set this work plane. I can choose level 1, that's the top view. Or I could have picked one of the tops of these objects. Okay, so I'm going to draw something very similar to what I did in the beginning. See, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. We'll see. Oop, draw my axis line. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's go to a front view. Let's see if it allows me to pick it up. No, it doesn't allow me to pick it up because it's on that particular work plane. All right, let's just go for it. And I'd like to make it taller. Okay. All right, let's go for it. That, 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 I think that's going to look pretty cool. So this needs to be a a void form. So it can't be a solid. So I'm going down here and changing this to void. Click apply and then I'm going to go up and choose cut. And I'm going to subtract these two. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty funky. <laughs> I would say that came out that came out better than I expected. That's pretty cool. Like liking that a lot. All right, and then I'm going to finish the model. All right, so that's it for Revolve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment of why you found the video helpful. In the upper left, my head's going to pop up. Go ahead and click on my head to subscribe. Some videos in the upper right, we're going to pop up that extrude video. And in the lower right, we're going to pop up that blend video. All right, I will see you next time.